Tonight we're looking into the role school security officers play after policy changes in Chesapeake. The school board approved letting school employed security officers carrying guns as part of their job. Alex Little Hales walks us through the process those officers will have to go through to carry that power. To me, throwing more guns into is not the safest and smartest way to handle it. You want to know that your kids have a potential safety because what other options are there? Chesapeake's online school policy already reflects Monday night's school board vote to arm some school security officers employed by the division. Parents on both sides are weighing in with 13 News Now why they're either for. I think for our family, we're personally, we're okay with that. Or against this effort. We only have measures in place to stop that moment, but not for or five things that happened leading up to that moment. Chesapeake school officials say there are about 90 SSOs across the school division. They are not employed by law enforcement, but carry out more than one dozen security measures on school grounds, like hall checks, vehicle checks, and escorting disruptive students. Now, to carry a firearm, SSOs must fulfill a long list of requirements before they're eligible. They must be employed within the last 10 years by a law enforcement agency and must have active shooter training. For some parents like Meredith Plata, the added security offers peace of mind. Prefer him being safe. While it's a change that's misguided for others like Jeremy Rodden. You know, adding another layer of defense, which is important, not actually addressing the real issues. In Chesapeake, Alex Little Hales for 13 News Now. The Chesapeake Education Association also told 13 News Now they hope to meet with CPS leadership to get answers and rationale uh, to get the rationale behind the decision.